In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel. We'll start by creating and saving a file, then I'll show you how to input data and format it, then we'll create a chart, and then you'll print and save. So if you're not sure if you have Excel on your computer, best thing to do is go down to the bottom left corner, there's the Start menu, and where it says Search for Programs, just type in Excel, and then what I would do is go ahead and drag the Excel program onto your desktop, and that'll create a shortcut, and then you can find it whenever you need. Then just double click on the shortcut and it will pull up an Excel spreadsheet. It'll start you in the top left corner in the A1 cell, that's column A, cell 1. First thing I like to do is I always like to save the program and that way if anything happens I'll have it saved, I can go back and pull up the file. So I'm going to save this one in a file called Family Budget and I already have a Family Budget 2017 so let's make it Family Budget 2018. Now what we'll do in the video is I'll show you how to enter data by creating a family budget spreadsheet. Let's enter in paychecks, and let's say we get a bonus every year, so those will be our income items. Now, we'll also add in mortgages, utilities, car payments, shopping, so those, those will be our expenses. If you wanna add in rows, you can just highlight the rows you wanna add, so, and then right click and hit insert. So once you've added those in, you can add in more text between the rows, like total income, total expenses. Let's put the amount that's remaining at the end of the month. Okay, so let's put months in there. We're gonna start with January, and rather than typing every month, what I can do is click on the bottom right corner and drag it off to the right, and Excel will automatically fill in the months, starting with January, going as far as you drag it over. Once we have those, we'll add in the total column, and let's start putting numbers in. Let's say we get 5000 a month on paycheck, another 1000 in January on bonuses. We'll put in mortgage, utilities, car payments, shopping. So that'll be our income and our expenses. Just type in the numbers into each cell. Now let's say we want to copy those cells over. We can do the same thing we did with the months. Just click on the cell click on the bottom right corner, and then drag them all the way across. If you want to copy multiple cells over, you just highlight the total cells, click on the bottom right corner, and then drag that across. So Excel does a great job of filling in the columns. Now we're going to create a formula. I'm going to type in my most popular formula, the one I use the most, is equal sum, and then put in the parentheses, and then highlight the cells you want to total up and then hit enter and it'll automatically total it. Now let's add together the two cells. So let's take income plus expenses and hit enter. And for those of you who know your accounting, you know that remaining isn't your income plus your expenses, it's your income minus your expenses. So I'll go back to that cell and I'll correct it. I'll say plus income minus expenses and that will be the amount remaining. Now there's one more mistake in my formula. If I drag it across, I haven't entered the income and the expenses. So I'll click on the formula there, drag it off to the right, and it'll copy that formula all the way across. And one final column of data is we're gonna total up for the year. So we're gonna type in the sum in the cell that is off under the total column, and then we'll copy that cell down so now we have all of our data in. Got a couple extra zeros here, so I'm just gonna highlight the cell, hit delete, highlight the next cell, hit delete, and that'll empty out those cells that have data that we don't need. So that's inputting data. Now that we have the data in, let's start formatting it. On this top menu, you've got several choices. You can format the font, the alignment, the number, a few extra formatting. So let's start with formatting the font. We'll click on the cell we wanna format, format, then we'll go down and pick a new font. Pick something pretty. This number is how big the font is. So it started at 11 point font. Let's make it 12 point. There's a button here to click it down, make it smaller, make it bigger. Another one to make it bold. You can do italics, you can underline. So let's make our months bold. Let's also come down and click on the income, make that row bold make the expenses bold. So again, you have a lot of different options. You can additionally put in borders. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a thin bottom border 
along the bottom of all of these cells. You can do thick border, you can do outside border, but let's click on the thin bottom border. And we'll do the same thing at the bottom of our expenses list before our subtotal there. And then when we go down to the remaining amount, let's use a different style border there. So I'm going to go back to the box that has the borders, click on the little down arrow, and then choose a thin top line and a double bottom line. So kind of fun to add some borders on there, make it clear what's a, a number and what's a subtotal. So let's go back to our subtotals and let's change the background color. For income, income's good, let's make it green. Expenses are bad, let's make them red. And then under the total remaining, uh, let's change the font color. My favorite color is blue, so let's make the amount remaining at the end of the month blue. So that gives you an idea of how you can change up the fonts. Now that we've done fonts, let's talk about alignment. These let you do aligning the cells on the top, on the middle, and on the bottom. And you can also center them. So this one right here centers it. You can justify to the right, justify to the left. You can also indent. Little buttons here let you click over and indent. And let's indent the remaining twice. So that's a nice way to format. The next thing we can do is widen out these columns. They're a little bit too thin, so you can't read all the words. Just click on the line between the A and B column and stretch it off to the right. Okay, let me show you how to do the numbers. I'm gonna highlight all my numbers and I'm gonna click on this button, which is add some dollar signs. You can make them percentages. You can put a comma between the thousands. You can add decimal points, take away decimal points. So just play with the formatting of the numbers until you find one that you like. I'm gonna go with this one. Now let's go ahead and underline make a few more little tweaks, and that gets us to where we have nice formatted spreadsheet. Okay, let's start with creating a chart. What I like to do is highlight the items that I wanna chart, and then go up to the insert menu. And one of the choices in the insert menu is you can insert charts. If you click off to the bottom right in that section, it lets you insert whichever type of chart you want. I'll show you what an area chart looks like basically fills in the area that the numbers make up. This one looks a little bit weird because it started at 4,400. So I'm gonna double click on the axis, right click on it, and then it gives you the choice of options. So I'm gonna take the minimum down to zero, and that way the chart will start at zero instead of starting at 4,400. And that shows me how much my income comes from paychecks and how much of it comes from the bonus check. Now you can do different charts by clicking on the design menu, change your chart type, and then do a line chart. And the line chart shows you your paychecks are steady, your bonus is up in January, and then zero the rest of the year. And then you just go through on the chart, change chart type button, and you can change it to whatever you want. You can do a chart that shows it to you by month. You can do charts that are funny shapes that have 3D effects on them. So go ahead and play with the charts and see which one you like. To print, just go up to the file menu, go down to where it says print, and you can see it doesn't all print on one page. It'll print on two separate pages. So if you scroll down, go to where it says no scaling, click on that and you can choose fit to one page. That'll squeeze everything onto one page. This one would look better in landscape, which means you turn the page sideways and it fits better. So we'll print it scale to one page in landscape and hit the print button. Now, don't forget to save it. I'm gonna go up and click on the little save icon. You could also do file save. So that's it. That's how you use Excel. We learned to create and save a file. We input some data. We formatted the data, we created a chart, and then we learned to print and save. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you would, please click on the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and then leave me some comments.